Hello, good morning. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the body for the cows that you guys are making for the characters that you guys are making for the Weaver cows brief. And this is what I have at the moment. I'm going to go through the entire process of how I made this um, and the techniques that you can use. And that will be it. And it will be quite straightforward, I hope. Uh, nothing too fancy um, and also we'll be using smooth uh, preview mode so this is all a oh, smooth preview mode uh, if I show it to you in normal mode it looks like this so obviously not <laughs> oh my god that's awful yeah but in smooth preview mode you can see that it's actually quite fine and um, yeah so that's a new skill you're gonna be learning so let's just get started uh, I'm gonna select this whole thing put it in a group and call it uh, done and hide it for a moment and to get this picture up uh, I just screenshotted it from canvas I used the snipping tool to grab it from from the documents on canvas uh, you go to create free image plane you go to your attributes you click this little folder icon you pick the image you want so mine was on the desktop and uh, it will bring it up right so you can use it as a reference I'm just going to use the same one and I'm going to make this one here. I'm going to make this cow here. Um, so how do we get started? So very first thing uh, we're going to do, we're going to make a cube, just a basic cube. And I'm going to press space to open up my views. And I'm going to go to front and I'm just going to start with this headpiece, this square looking headpiece, because it's quite simple. Uh, I'm going to keep my cube right in the center. Uh, so I'm not going to move it from side to side and I'm going to go up here and make sure that my symmetry is turned to world X. Now I'm going to scale this up again. I'm not moving it from the center and the concepts aren't exactly centered, but you can just use them as a pretty rough guide for uh, what you want. So I'm scaling this up to roughly the size of this um, and I'm going to bring it down a little bit and I'm going to press free on my keyboard. And this is going to give me a preview of what it will look like when you smooth it. Kind of like in ZBrush when you add subdivisions, it gets smaller, right? So this is just a preview and this is just me pressing one free, one free, right? Uh, so I want this to uh, have a line in the middle. So I'm going to click one of the edges and double click the one below it. And it's going to go all the way around, uh, as you can see. And now I'm going to go up here to my tools. I have it on my hotbar, but it's just mesh tools connect and press enter. And that's going to add an edge. And because this is a preview, you can see how adding geometry um, is actually going to change your preview dynamically. So now I'm going to go to insert edge loop. And again, I'm making sure that world X symmetry is on. And I'm going to click not on the actual shape itself on this outline, which is showing you what the original was. And this is going to allow me to add an, add an edge and with symmetry you can see it's doing both sides and also now you can see how the preview is dynamically changing as I'm adding details right so I want this to be a bit more squarish like that uh, and I want one near the, um, the bottom as well and near the top a little bit and now I'm going to grab these edges and I'm going to move them into the shape of the head and we have a starting point for our head something like this all right yeah so I'm using the reference as a rough guide now uh, by default this is gonna be very square so we then want to come in here in our in our uh, side view and we want to uh, grab these um, edge ones because look if we look at it like this it's just the uh, just a cube like this uh, and it's smooth it kind of creates these transitions now we can grab these edge ones and we can scale them in to create a rounder shape uh, and the same with uh, well th this from the front view we don't really want to mess with it but from the back and other stuff we can we can mess with that as well and you can grab the vertices you can move them and create a bit of a back to the head and actually from the rear we could, should we? Yeah, let's let's round this out a little bit. Bom, bom, bom. You can do stuff like that. And now you have like a rough start for your head. And notice like, because we're looking at it from the front, if you move things forwards and backwards, 
there's no change to this silhouette. So you could still come in here and kind of like move this forward a bit and like think about how you're gonna want it to actually look in the final. And because we can move things forward and back, we can grab these front ones and move them back as well. I'm gonna grab these as well. Maybe something like this. And you've got a shape. Now, uh, next thing I did was I made the little horns. Uh, that was just a little sphere. Um, and I brought it down to literally something super small, something like uh, six or something. And the height was even less, like six and a four. And I made it small. I press free again to see how it looks like uh, smoothed. And I just put it over where I want it to be. And you can grab the top vertice and pull it out a bit to make it a bit pointier. Grab the ones, pull them back a little. You can do whatever you like with it. Um, let's make it interesting. Because uh, I've made this <laughs> one exactly before. I'm going to make this one a little different. Um, right, so then you can kind of position it forward and back, however you, wherever you want it to be placed. Um, I'm going off script making weird horns. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go back. <laughs> Just for the sake of not going off script. Uh, so next thing uh, I did was I actually did the eyes as well because they use the sphere too. So I just made a little sphere again. Uh, I made it something like um, eight, I think. And the height I did lower because I don't need all that height. Uh, and I rotated it so it faces forwards. And I placed it where the eyes are. Something like this and place somewhere like there. Now let's look at it from the front and just bring it out to where we want, right? So now we have a little eye. Um, and then I duplicated it and I moved it up the duplicate and I made it a little bit bigger. Actually, no, I didn't even move it up. I just duplicated it and I made it bigger like this so that it covers the eyelid. Um, and then I deleted the bottom, uh, the bottom, what do you call it? The bottom faces. And I was left with something like this. So original sphere, new sphere, right? Um, and these were this was a little too edgy, uh, so I added a few more edges here. And then I grabbed them, went to scale, scale them up a bit, move them up a bit, just so it rounds out that thing a little. Uh, and then you could even, if you, oops, we made a little mistake here. And then you could even uh, mesh display soft and edge, and you could even grab it and extrude it inwards um, to cover the eye completely. And then you can click it because if you push it inward, it's going to turn black. You want to go mesh display reverse and it's back. And now you have like a little eyelid. Yeah, it could be, could be fixed around the back, but we're not going to do that right now. Uh, you have a little eyelid though, which is nice. Um, and then you can start making the big muzzle, actually. Actually, should I do the ear? I want to do the muzzle first because it's hard to tell the ears if they look good without you have the actual face. So let's look at it from the front again, and this is going to be nothing new. Uh, we make a, fi uh, a square, bring it up to the size we want. I'm going to make it into a circle straight away. Uh, put in our connection, put in our side connection. Uh, did I do it? Did I do something wrong? No, it's fine. Uh, right, and then we can uh, do this. And this is the useful thing about symmetry. I'm actually having to do a lot less. I'm not having to use scaling to get both sides the same. Um, it's just a little bit more comfortable, uh, a little faster as well. We're using symmetry. Uh, and as you can see, it's not completely in the right uh, size. So I'm going to do it like half and half. So it's like half out here, half in here. And that should be like the right scale. Now you're noticing that like it looks a bit weird. It's hard to get the right shape, right? So let's just add a few more edges uh, to help ourselves. So this can stay here. This is, this is all right. This is all right. Uh, actually, no, this goes inwards, doesn't it? I just noticed. Yeah, 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 this goes inwards, this goes up about this much. We want this to be in. Not that much because we're, we're doing both, aren't we? And this we can kind of ease in a little. Yeah, it's all right. 
I could have centered this reference a bit better. Um, so yes, okay. So now you can see it looks absolutely stupid. <laughs> it's just a big square. It looks alright from the front, but from the sides it looks dumb. So let's move this um, about here, about here, uh, and then do the same thing we did before. We're gonna grab these sides and we're gonna scale them in to create a rounder shape. And I'm gonna move them backwards as well to leave some space for the muzzle. Uh, from here, uh, let's grab the back vertices, and actually let's let's add another in between here. Let's add one in between, like this, uh, because I want. Um, what's doing that? There we go. Uh, I want these ones to actually go inwards, not inwards, but I want them to be a little bit more compact uh, and the bottom ones let's move this let's move all of this forwards a little bottom ones let's move this up and the back one will move it up and back like that or something like that so that we create this weird kind of almost jaw and then these middle ones we can just scale in so I'm essentially mimicking a, a sphere a spherical shape and I'm trying to make an interesting shape out of um, out of the cubes that I start with. Um, it's a bit tricky, uh, but also it's a bit tricky for me because I'm doing it for the second time. So I'm, I don't know whether I'm trying to do something new or if I'm trying to copy what I had before. Uh, but nonetheless, you can, you can get some interesting effects. Let's see from the front, how are we doing? It's a bit low. It's all right, it's not too bad, it's all right. So I want to grab these bottom ones just then and then move it down. So I'm fiddling around with it. I'm trying to get like a shape that kind of looks face shaped um, and messing around with it in that sense. I think the first one I did was like quite long to begin with and then I like pulled it back. And the issue I was having was it looked a lot like a hippo because the front was really big. And let me bring back the done one so I can look at it. So on the done one, um, I moved this backwards a little bit and the front was kind of here here and then it went down to a long thingy right so this was actually quite prominent down here and these got quite small actually um, comparatively and let's bring these back as well actually no let's bring this forward and then we have more of a more of a thingy it's a bit messy or it's a bit messy you're messing around a bit you're trying to find the right look um, and you run into some design problems that you have to do some design problem solving but that's all right that's kind of the whole point isn't it uh, it's okay it's okay uh, let's add the nostrils and maybe that will bring it a little bit further together and I remember actually these were quite close over the nostrils, something like this. And this was quite a bit lower. Uh, and then here we can just grab these vertices and uh, mimic our shape again. There we go, something like that. This is starting to go really far out, so we're gonna bring it in. This is something like that. Actually we want this, don't we? Yep, there we go, there we go. Something like that. All right, so it looks a bit funny, but you know, I'm just gonna go with it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go with it for now. I don't want the thingy to go too long. And also we can always just grab it and like scale it in a bit, push it in. It's a bit less silly. Uh, still a bit, still a bit hippo, but all right. Uh, let's make the, the thingies. So I literally grabbed these vertices these ones right here, that are where the nose should be. And these ones I suppose should be, um, could be a little further. Oh, man, five minutes of me messing around with this. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> this is what, this is what happens when you, when you've done it once and you're trying to do it again the exact same way. Uh, yeah, let's move these up so we can have our nose here. That works a bit better, doesn't it? Um, 
it, it's kind of all right because you can see me like actively trying to solve this uh, which is you know how it usually happens uh, and now I'm gonna grab these points here they're right here and uh, I'm going to press extrude and it's gonna do this which is not what we want but you just need to grab this end point and you just need to pull it all the way back and you want to push it in a bit and push it sideways because it's out of the way and then you have this and it's a bit naff so I'm gonna grab these circles and I'm going to scale them down a bit and just move them into the position of this. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just gonna grab them. I'm gonna go to my modeling toolkit uh, and I'm gonna change my transformation constraint to surface slide. So now they're going to slide on the surface of the mesh, regardless of where I'm trying to move them. Um, so I'm gonna try and slide them into a better position. Uh, and hopefully we can do that. And then I'm going to uh, select them. Let me look at it in this mode a bit. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. Let's fix this. Yeah, when you look at it in the normal mode, you, you notice some issues that you were having, which might explain why uh, certain things were a weird shape or difficult to get into a right shape. So, you know, you still need to be aware of uh, your, your, your topology. Uh, but it doesn't matter as much because as you can see these nose these are awful uh, but anyway that's already looked a bit nicer now uh, but let's grab these and let's um, extrude them so I'm gonna grab each of these faces and I'm gonna click uh, extrude and I'm just gonna push them in oops oh uh, do I have surface slide no I don't yeah I'm just gonna push these in and scale them down and now we have like some some terrible nostrils but let's grab these edges right around here and now we're going to go to mesh tools and crease tool and now with your middle mouse button you can drag left to right to pinch or release um, something so I'm uh, pinch or release the edges so I'm going to now grab these inner edges and move them up actually I need to grab the thingy as well don't I let's move this up a bit So it's not that strong and you can like move them in or out or do whatever and now it looks a bit better doesn't it it looks a little bit nicer um, but you notice that they're still two separate pieces aren't they so what I have to do is I have to connect this piece to this piece so how am I gonna do that um, now I'm just gonna check my one <laughs> just to remember uh, yeah I just connected it to the top piece did I not uh, so we have one two here we have more than one two here so I think we needed to add another piece. Let's look at it from the bottom. One, two, three, four. And from the top we have one, two, three, four. Excellent. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm going, what you should also actually do is all this stuff you just made, uh, group it and call it uh, V1, then duplicate it and hide the first version. And now you're working on a copy so that you F anything up, um, you have that to go back to. So let's just grab this, delete these bottom bits, right? And then grab this one uh, and delete these bottom bits, these four. And now it's kind of intersecting a little, which isn't great, but that's okay for now. And these ones we can pull in now as well to be kind of on level with our head. We're gonna pull everything down so that it's like, so that our head has priority uh, and pull everything forwards as well. Kind of like here. So that they match a little better. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to match them. Uh, like this. Okay, that's nice. Nice enough. Um, then we can combine the two. Let me just check them in this mode. Yep, that's fine. Uh, now we can combine the two, so this and this, mesh, combine, uh, edit, delete all by type history, uh, and then I'm going to grab the bottom, double click the bottom loop, uh, the top loop, double click the bottom loop, I'm just going to click bridge, and it's going to bridge it. And now I have this, and now you can go back here and pull these back and create a bit of a, a head shape here, see it's how it's going to pinch it. Like this is how it looks like in, in the normal view, which is terrible, but in smooth mode, you can see what it's doing. 
um, these ones I'm going to move back as well and these ones as well and start actually trying to get a bit of a head shape oops no not not this thank you if you press 4 on your keyboard it's going to go into wireframe just click the little solid cube here and it's going to turn solid again you might click 4 by accident as you're clicking 1 and 1 and 2 so often um, or at least more often than usual you have something like this um, one of these edges is kind of annoying me uh, so I think I'm gonna get rid of this middle one uh, because it was just like giving me more trouble um, or should I try and actually do something with it let's actually try and do something with it and not be a worse. let's look at it in this view actually and see what the problem is so this is just really far out you know sometimes it's alright to have stuff that are far out uh, like in here and some and like down here but in this area where I'm having specific issues I'm actually gonna just even all of these out because I don't want to mess with it a million years. Let's grab all of these, even these out, rotate them a bit, and then grab these. Oops, too many. Put them down here. Now let's look at it better, much better. Not perfect, but better. Uh, and when we add the body, it's going to have another connection here, so this will all be changed a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the, the head. Uh, let me grab these extra bits. Ooh, we forgot the ear. Let's do the ear first. Uh, I just made a cube and I put it here and I made it quite thin about the thickness of the ear. And then I'll look at it from the front and I'll actually put it in by hand. So I'll kind of rotate it. So it's the side, the place of the ear, put it here, uh, like this, something like that. Uh, and then I'm going to grab these bits and just pull them out like that. Uh, then I'm going to look at it from this perspective. I'm going to make it quite a bit thinner because this is quite thick at the moment. Um, and then I'm going to grab this bottom face, this, this face, and I'm going to extrude it. I'm going to pull it back and I'm going to pull it down as well until it's on level with this. So we have this kind of shape now and then you can grab this. Uh, I'm going to bring it forwards a bit as well because that doesn't change the moving up and down changes this but back and forth doesn't so I'm gonna move it forward just a bit so it seeps into the head and I'm actually gonna pull this sideways a bit as well so it seeps into the head uh, but here you can uh, straight away just press free it's gonna go into smooth mode um, I'm actually gonna move this back a little as well I'm gonna try and move it so that it's fitting the ear here if you can see that um, so now I'm going to press free, it's going to go into smooth mode, I'm going to look at it through the front view, so you can see it was like this, now it's like this. Uh, let's put in some edges, so I'm going to put an edge pretty close to the end here, because I want this to crease quite well, and I'm going to put an edge near the front, because I want this to have slightly a rounder thingy, um, and I'm going to put an edge near the back, because I want this to go further out, so I, there's like a specific uh, distance I want it to go to. So I want this like. Hmm. Let's just look at it from here first before we make any weird changes. Let's grab these. Can we move it down? Yeah, we can do. It's gonna lose this nice curve though. Um, we can just grab the whole thing here, and then we can move it down a bit, and then we can deselect these ones. Move this up a bit. Something like that. Or actually, instead of doing that, um, what I did before uh, was you see on the on the square version, it's got these things here, and this is making the curve a lot, uh, a lot slightly slightly sharper. So if I move it back, it's going to be softer and stuff like that. And I want this particular area to be smoother. So what I did was I grabbed my target weld and I literally just uh, target welded these together like that. And now it's making a much more uh, round transition, and it looks a lot. It looks that's yeah, that's how I did it. That's how I got this nice curve there. Um, and the last thing I did was because I, it was looking a bit meh, a little like too smooth, a little not interesting. I grabbed it and what was that sound effect I just made? Uh, I grabbed it and I added an edge loop uh, really close to the ear, and it gave it a nice little pinch. Uh, you have to kind of play around to make sure it's not too much of a pinch. 
uh, but I think actually doing the too much actually gave it an okay look from the front. Yeah, it gave it like this nice crease. Uh, and that's how I did the ear. And you can see it's flush with the head. Uh, I didn't connect it with the head because it wasn't necessary. It, it's, it would complicate it quite a lot and I didn't want to complicate it at this point. Um, and that is the head, right? So let's select all our side pieces. I grouped them and then uh, I duplicated the group, control D, and I press scale X minus one and you get it on the other side as well. And we have our little head and it looks all right. Um, it looks okay. It's not too bad. Uh, boom, boom. Hello. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's early in the morning and I'm losing it. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's carry on. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, let's uh, let's do the body and then I'll get on to the legs and we'll do the tail as well So thrown in the body uh, nothing new cube smooth mode uh, edges uh, connect uh, Enter you have to press enter remember uh, and then the next ones connect enter uh, And let's just shape it roughly to the shape we need uh, da, 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 something like this. This is up here. This is here ish. This is down here ish. Um, and let's move this backwards. Uh, you can see it's a little weird ball, so I'm going to make it a little longer. Uh, and I'm going to add some edges. Ooh, do I have an issue here? Oh, this is this is my bad. It didn't connect properly. Connect. Thank you. Output free. That's better. Uh, and we can add a little edge to the front to make it the front a little more sense in the back as well. Uh, and then we can uh, change it so that uh, selection free vertices. Thank you. And then we can change it so that this is kind of lower lower down and we have more of a neck area almost um, and this is kind of coming forwards a bit um, kind of like the upper shoulders and this can go a little further down and then you have the bum uh, and you can have the middle bit be a little lower down and the top bit be a lot higher up and then you get like these cow butt things uh, then we bring this up and bring this here try and get like something looking cow shaped uh, the back we can leave for now I think this can bring it in a bit the neck we want to bring inwards quite a bit this is okay here uh, I kind of want to add another one in here because this feels like a weird shape at the moment um, something like this yeah 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 something like this so like uh, you can scale it down so it pinches on both ends but then you move it down so it only pinches the top end and the bottom end is smooth. And you can then adjust it further with some vertices and you can move the front one back up. And then you have a bit more of this shoulder look, right? Something like this and you have the neck here and you can then like just scale it in a bit if you want it to be a bit stouter. Um, and I think straight away, I'm going to go into connecting these. I'm gonna give some space between them to start with. Um, and let me actually grab these top shoulders. Or actually, should we? Let's let's grab. Let's do this. Let's grab the bottom a bit and just scale it in a bit. And then you've got a bit more of this. Oh, let's look at it from the side. Actually, we need to make sure that everything is um, everything's all right. Let's let's move these vertices. Yeah, we need to remember that we have a reference to follow. Um, you don't have to follow it super hard, of course. If you can make it look better than the reference, that's always better. Um, and for instance, this thing with the butt that I'm doing, like I can't see it uh, because the back is in the way, but I know that it's an interesting idea, so I'm gonna keep it. Um, the bottom here needs to be lower as well. It needs to be lower, but not necessarily from the neck. So the neck can stay up. Do something like this. Okay, so that's kind of a cow shape-ish. 
Uh, let's grab the head and the body. Let's connect them. Uh, combine, edit, delete all the type history so nothing breaks. I'm going to do a save. <laughs> Uh, and usually when doing these connections, I, sh I would make a duplicate and hide the original Just so I'm working on a safe copy and if I mess up I can go back. So I'm gonna delete their neck bits uh, I can see now that like and I'm gonna go to one for a second. It's gonna look terrible I can see that the neck and the body are quite different So I'm gonna try and match them just a little bit so that the transition isn't too crazy uh, I'm not gonna try and match them too much because they are different and they're supposed to be but just a bit. Uh, then I'm just gonna double click the neck, double click the head, uh, starting from, you know, usually you would just merge like this, right? You would just bridge like this, but those two edges that are gonna merge, I'm just gonna double click them instead of clicking them once. Now it's gonna do that. Uh, and now let's press free and see what it looks like. So it looks all right. Uh, it looks interesting actually, this long neck. It's almost like, I kind of like it more than my one that I did the first time a little bit, cause it's kind of interesting and long. Uh, I think I would just kind of maybe move these forwards a bit. Yeah, something like that. And like you can see with smooth mode, when you're controlling your shapes, you can get some interesting kind of designs. and um, You'll be able to recognize the looks from animations and stuff you've seen in the past because this is how they used to make pretty much all the animations um, before ZBrush and, and all that fancy stuff. You know, this was uh, pretty... This was the technique that was taught and used and learned um, to make these kinds of stylized characters. Uh, I'm wondering where to pull this out a bit, make it a little, yeah, it looks okay. Looks like a milk carton a little bit, which is a bit funny. Is it better before? Nah, it's, it looks more interesting now. Uh, anyway, okay, so that's the body. That was faster than I thought it would be. Um, <laughs> let's do the leg. And the leg is not so bad. Uh, so looking at it from the front, bring in a cube. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> Interesting morning. Uh, bring in a cube. Uh, start with... So I'm going to bring it all the way down here and all the way to the top there. So this is going to be like somewhere here. And then we have this. It's going to be to the side like that. Uh, and then I'm going to insert an edge loop so that we get the foot here. Move that there. So we have like the, the hoof, the hoof. Uh, and I'm just trying to match it. And like the, the hoof is going to be a bit wider than the foot. Uh, this is going to be around here. This is fine. This is fine. Let's insert an edge loop for the knee. Uh, and you can insert a couple of edge loops for the knee, to be honest. Um, because for animation, any joint like this actually needs an edge through the middle, one at the top and one at the bottom, so that it moves a bit better. We're not going to animate these, but, you know, it's, it's good practice. Uh, and I'm just going to put one edge at the top here, with the upper thigh. And I'm going to actually make it a bit rounder, even though it's not that round in the concept. Um, ta -da, something like this, uh, right? And let's press smooth mode, and it's gonna break, right? <laughs> so we made this. This is by default. Uh, let's thicken it up a bit, and this is what happens smooth mode. So, how do we fix this? Well, we select the edges that we want to keep hard, so the very top, uh, the very bottom for the hoof, uh, the connection of the hoof. So like this one that goes round, round the, round the thing here. And the rest is okay for now. And then we do our trusty crease. So we go to mesh tools crease and middle mouse button drag. You're gonna get this. Uh, and I'm gonna drag it all the way actually. And you're gonna get something like this. And then you can look at it from the side and make further adjustments. Um, actually, I'm gonna do it like that instead. And is it forward? It's forwards, isn't it? So we can do that. I'm just looking at it from the side and thinking how it would look uh, from the side. So this would be wider like that. This could be wider as well. And then it could get like, the knee could be a bit wider. It's a knee, isn't it? Uh, and then it just get like 
narrower. Then it's fine. Uh, even the knee, I think that's a bit looks a bit weird. Let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. And it gets thinner and thinner. Yeah, something like that. That's all right. Um, and if you wanted to, you could like put in another edge here to kind of like keep this sharp. See how now it's a little bit sharp. So you could do that. You can do it on the bottom. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's do that. I didn't do that last time. And sometimes it's a bit hard to insert an edge loop. So just go back to like normal mode and insert an edge loop in normal mode. And you can then go back and see the results. So now we have like a much sharper hoof, which is quite nice. Uh, the top I'm not going to worry about because we're actually going to get rid of the top in a bit. So then you move it back to where you want. I put mine like um, on the length of the shoulders. So the fronts were at the length of the shoulders and the back was um, around where these, these hips are. Um, also, uh, although I use the concept to match it to begin with, my, um, what do you call it? My concept is a bit offside. So I'm actually going to adjust it a bit and put it um, more further sideways by about a leg length. So here's a leg length and I'll do another leg length, maybe even a little more and put it to the side and that's okay. Um, and then I'm gonna look at this and you notice, ah, but like how do we connect this to this? And it's like, well, all you need to do is add another edge loop uh, in here behind the shoulders and what it's going to do is it's also going to emphasize your shoulders even more and it's going to look kind of cool uh just remember that you need to like kind of go back and adjust it so that it doesn't because it becomes extra big so sometimes and you need to like come back and be like oh, okay not that big um move it down a bit rubbing a little like that is it too small is it too big who knows uh, something that's useful, which I could have started doing is instead of switching between um, four views, I think we can go to double view. Uh, but, uh, but I don't have my my side view thing because I'm using a different thingy. So I guess I'll just use the four views. That's fine. Um, and I'll grab the side and side is fine, actually. Yeah, the rest is fine. So we've ha we've added this little thingy and it looks kind of cool. It gives us a nice little pinch to our cow and you can make that stronger or weaker as you wish. Uh, and the rest is actually just connecting this to the body. So again, I would make co uh, duplicates of this and then hide them uh, just so I know that if I screw up, I can go back. And now let's select this leg. I'm going to insert an edge loop around um, here and then delete these top bits. Uh, and then I'm going to select the body and I'm going to turn off symmetry and just delete this side like this. And now you can see what it looks like. Uh, let's go to normal mode and let's see if we can adjust our leg to match that a bit better. Um, maybe I should actually just delete these and then connect it and then see maybe just these at least. Um, so now we can connect them. We just need to combine them first. Uh, so I'm gonna move this forwards actually like this and then this back like this. Ooh, that's better. Okay, and let's see, let's see what result we get. Maybe let's move this down first just so it matches better. Do some of the work for us. Uh, let's select both, mesh combine. I'm gonna go in smooth mode again, uh, mesh combine edit leopa type history and notice how all of this is going to disappear edit leopa type history bam uh and then let's just connect them double click double click bridge draw and it's connected to the body that's nice um let's can we do something here to make it a bit more look all right or does it look all right let's look at it from the front it looks okay it looks okay it, it blends into the body quite well um so i think that's fine and to get it on the on the other side, you can just grab the body and do mirror. And I need mine to be on the other axis, so I'm gonna change the direction to negative. Uh, and this is another good thing for a model being right in the center of the world. Now, how do we do the back legs, you might ask? Well, good thing we copied them. So make sure that you have a copy of your leg. And I'm gonna duplicate that copy and again, just leave it and save it um, for another time. 
and click the back we want to put these around here and we also make want to make it a little different because this is the back leg so we want to like bring um the front thigh a little further forwards or was it backwards how did how did cow legs work oh yeah it was backwards so you want to bring these a little further backwards uh and the knee and this part this whole part you can bring a little further forwards let me just make sure i grab all of it and you have more of a cow-like leg. Um, of course, we're going for stylized, so you don't need to go that far. Just pulling the back a bit would be enough. Um, and the rest, I think I can leave, maybe? Or did I delete this last time? Yeah, let's see. Did I delete this last time? Don't remember. Let's add another edge here and then delete it. Yeah, that's what I did. Because now we're keeping our shape, but we have a little more space. And on this one, again, I have symmetry mode off. I'm just gonna delete this back area. Um, if I wanted to, I could add another edge, kind of like here, uh, and that'll emphasize the butt quite a lot. So I think I'm actually gonna, uh, I think, should I do that? I wonder. <laughs> Look at this, this is how it looks in normal mode, smooth mode. Um, should I do that? Do I need that edge? I don't think I need that edge. So I think I'm gonna leave it for now. Let's let's try it out. Uh, so let's uh, again duplicate hide, duplicate hide. It's good to keep. I'm very unorganized at the moment because I'm making a video. Usually I would like group everything and I call this like uh, backup, front legs, backup, no legs, whatever. Uh, so let's do this finally. Grab this. We can see how much space we have. So it's gonna be interesting to see. Uh, the result of this. So let's combine these mesh combine. Uh, delete all the life history. I grab the edges, grab this, grab this, and bridge. And this is what we get. Not so bad, not so bad. A bit of blending here, but you know what? That's alright. Um because it looks alright. And if we pull it down actually it even looks a bit more interesting. Uh let's leave it for now because we need an other, which I completely forgot about before. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna freestyle the other when we get to that. But first, let's just do this and do the tail, and then we'll do the other and we'll be done. Uh, so yeah, we have this like uh, looks a bit weird. Need to fix some smoothing out. So let's look at a normal mode. Yeah, there's some things that are. Like, this is quite far. But we want it to kind of have a nice curve going around. There we go, that's probably that's free. It's a little better. And also remember, look at it from the front. The back leg is supposed to be behind the front leg. So what I need to do now is I need to literally grab this whole leg. Um, and I have got only the leg, good. Look at it from the front and move it back one leg's length, like that. Make sure you don't go over the center point uh, when you're doing this. Don't You don't wanna go over the center point because you won't be able to mirror uh, was that too far? No, that was fine. Maybe a little less. Just nitpicking. Um, and now we can grab body again. We can do the mirroring again. Change our direction to uh, plus, and uh, we have this. Uh, looks all right. Looks all right. Um, okay, let's let's move this back a little because it's like so close. Uh, we want to do a tail, right? Uh, so let's click this. Let's click the butt bit here and I'm gonna extrude again uh, and I'm gonna move it inwards a little bit and I'm going to grab the edges and again I'm gonna go to uh, surface slide I'm just gonna scale it in oops too much and I'm gonna see what I'm actually doing in normal mode yeah okay it's a bit it's a bit weird but it's okay let's grab this and just even it out a bit normal mode. yeah so it looks a bit better um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these bottom faces here and we're going to extrude them. So we're gonna go extrude and we're just gonna pull them out. Oops, I need to turn off surface slide, right? And it looks absolutely atrocious. So let's select these bottom edges and I'm gonna turn on my symmetry again. And these top edges, what? That's strange. Maybe it's because I wasn't using symmetry before. 
yeah I think it's because I wasn't using symmetry let me undo uh, all of that so let's turn on symmetry and let's do our little extrusion uh, and grab these edges and scale them in actually move them in uh, we need to use surface slide Gosh, it's so tricky. Let's leave it at like uh, normal mode and let's just move the vertices because this is annoying. <clears throat> if something's being very annoying, there's probably an easy way to do it. That's kind of like a rule. Uh, turn off surface slide now and just move this forwards like that. Press free. Let's see if I finish this by the time the lecture starts. <laughs> let's grab the bottom and top. Uh, go edit mesh, mesh tools, crease. Let's crease this a little bit. It's a little pinched. Then I'm gonna grab these bottom faces. I'm going to extrude them, move them out. Oops, excuse me. Sometimes it gives you that error and moves everything instead of the things you just extruded. So we need to just select them a second time. And now I'm gonna look at it in default mode uh, and I'm going to actually edit it in default mode instead uh, because it's a lot easier. Uh, and you can see that this is kind of the shape of our tail. I'm going to put the tail, um, when you're doing stuff for animation, usually you make it straight. For us, I'm gonna actually put it into the position we want. So it's about like, what length is it? It's about this length. Uh, it's a bit longer actually, because this one's curved as well. So it's about this long, it's quite a long tail. Uh, and the rest, I'm just gonna add some, there's that glitch again. Uh, add some edge loops to it. Nothing fancy. And then on this, I'm just gonna grab and like pull here. Let's look at it in, oh, and let's actually do this as well, cause this is weird. Why isn't this upwards? Preview mode, there we go. Oh, the tail. Uh, the bottom, the back is a bit weird and stretched. You can just grab these edges to go around and you can just crease those as well. So meta, a mesh tools, crease tool middle mouse button and leave it flat uh, and that's fine because we're going to add this little tuft and to add the little tuft I just made a sphere uh, where did it go there we go Ta -da. Uh, reduced its resolution by quite a bit not that much <laughs> I usually leave it at, the, at 8 and then just bring the subdivision height a little less as well uh, just gonna put it in smooth preview straight away uh, so we have our little thing visible uh, let's grab our point bring it up so it's pointy uh, grab this edge and bring it like here uh, grab this part and make it a bit thicker and grab this part and make it a bit thicker and this part make it a bit thinner I think I'm use I'm in symmetry mode aren't I so it's gonna look a bit weird I need to like uh, even out on this end um, right so I'm going to then grab this point and move it to the side and then grab these thingies and rotate them a bit so they follow the point and I'll just put in another one of these here so that we get a better better look All right and then you get this kind of thingy here uh, you can also yeah, that's not bad actually. Uh, it's a bit thin now, so I need to like straighten it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm starting to like think in my head, so I talk quieter. Um, something like this is fine. See, I just like messed around with a, with a sphere a bunch. Uh, and now I'm gonna make it smaller, rotate it to how it's supposed to be rotated. Uh, and then just bring it to I was holding V to snap it to a pivot uh, but then I'm just gonna manually put it into position and that's about the right size as well interestingly enough uh, so that's pretty much that tail is way too long uh, so that's pretty much the main parts the only thing I haven't done is the other and I actually forgot to do the other whilst um, 
preparing for this. So let's actually make it now quite quickly. Uh, I'm just gonna make this because I just I just got an idea about how to do it. So I'm gonna make a cube go in 3D mode. Again, I'm going to connect and connect this way. Come on, connect, thank you. Uh, and then these faces, I'm going to turn off my symmetry. I'm gonna click this face and I'm gonna click extrude and then do nothing. Then I'm gonna click the next face and click extrude. Next face, click extrude. Next face, click extrude. I don't know how many others they have, I don't remember. I think they have like, I think they have four. I, I, I used to be on a farm as a kid. I don't remember <laughs> though. Um, so let's like squeeze these down. Oh my God, this is so weird. I've never had to do this before. <laughs> so you could just put them out, I suppose, or you could uh, extrude them again. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Um, also, I accidentally extruded one here, which is fine. We can fix that. We can just go to normal mode and then just uh, delete it. Actually, no, scale it in. Yeah, then delete it. Then delete the ones around it. Because if we didn't scale it in first, those invisible edges would still be there. Um, yeah, there we go. Fixed it. And yeah, we have a, <laughs> another. That's that's weird. I've never done this before. I've never had to make another like a memory organ. Oh jeez. All right, so here's our other. And just stick that on, and you're golden. That is, that is, not something I've done before. <laughs> is it like? Does it have to be like the other way around? Is it like the top ones are like bigger or something? I really don't know. I don't want to know. I've like I'm not on a farm anymore. Granted. Oh jeez. I mean, I feel like this is probably important to know if you're on a farm, but. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, um, here's a little cow. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have any apparel. It doesn't have any clothing, any stuff like that. But this is how I would make the base bodies. You can get interesting shapes. Um, obviously, uh, this is just my interpretation. Um, you can make, you know, whatever it is that you're making. You can make different adjustments. You can make them bigger. You can change how they look. Uh, you could... Um, you know, do do whatever it is that you want to do uh, with your designs, with the bodies and etc. But hopefully you can use these tools to get nice shapes like this. Uh, and in the future, we'll kind of, uh, we'll go over how to make these final shapes because right now they're obviously just previews of this monstrosity. Uh, but we're gonna show how this can become your final shape, uh, how to UV stuff like this, texturing stuff like this. We're gonna go over all that stuff we're gonna go over some ways to do fur, uh, using alphas and stuff and making cards. Um, and that probably doesn't make any sense to you right now, but yeah, so I hope all of that was useful. Um, and I hope you can get a nice start on these. Um, and of course, if you get stuck, if you need any help, uh, then just send me a message and we'll, we'll figure it out. All right, thanks a lot, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the lecture or I've probably already seen you in the lecture or something.